Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Taurus. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Taurus. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Definitely hope you're taking in more water, eating more fruits and vegetables. I say, and taking care of that beautiful temple, Taurus, as it take care of you. I say, I say. Welcome back, my loves. We're checking in another three days here, Taurus, to see what messages source your angels, your ancestors have for you on this lovely day. All right. I hope all is well. We're going to check back in in regards to your love life. All right. We're going to see what messages your angels and your ancestors have for you moving forward here for the next three days in the month of March, Taurus. OK, so come on in, my loves. Protect your space. All right. Make sure that you're in a place to hear the messages as loud, as clear. I say. All right, and welcome back to the ones that are new here. Definitely click that notification bell so that way as well you are notified for when I do post your love readings here on this platform every three days, all right? And shout out to the Soul Tribe, to the Evolving Spirits. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, your comments, your like, your subscribes, your shares. Appreciate you so much. If you would love to become an Evolving Spirit like I myself, Click that join membership tab where that way you are as well gifted with those beautiful discounts of personal readings, email readings, and live stream questions. You get discounts there as well once you become a Soul Tribe member of the Evolving Spirits. I say, all right, so let's tap in, Taurus. Let's see who's coming towards you here for the month of March in the next three days. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Let's see what your guardian angels is wanting to inform you in regards to love, all right? Now, the readings here today may resonate for sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and south node placements, all right? And cross watchers, welcome back, my loves. You are welcome here as well, I say. All right, so let's see what we have for the beautiful divine masculine, divine feminine. What do we have for the goddess and the gods, source, angels, ancestors? Please protect my space and aura. As I channel the messages here for Taurus, what messages do we have here? Source, source, angels, ancestors, what do we have for the bulls? What do their higher selves need to know in regards to their love life source? What do we have for the bulls? What do we have for the bulls? Thank you. All right, my loves. Beautiful. What's at the bottom of the deck that we never see coming? Ooh, passion. I knew it. At the beginning of the reading, as I started shuffling, immediately I heard Sagittarius, okay? So some of you all, this may resonate for you and a Sagittarius, but I heard Sagittarius as I was shuffling here, and I'm like, you guys are the first reading out today. So there's no way. I'm not even on fire signs yet so some of you all because i know that happens sometimes immediately after i done a reading before you but you're the first one out today so again some of you all you may resonate with a sagittarius or you may be dating a sagittarius this energy is a sagittarius or however a fire sign here because it talks about passion this is like the wands energy in the traditional tarot deck but however we have at the bottom of the deck we have allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, Taurus. Oh, beautiful, okay? So some of you all, again, you are either meeting someone new or you are re-ramping or recapturing your love life with your particular partner here or your significant other or your spouse here. You're going back into that passion and the reason that you two you know, met each other in the first place type of energy here that I'm getting here. Wow, beautiful. All right, so let's see what cards jumps out here for you. Wow, we have worth waiting for, Taurus. Okay, and I keep hearing Sagittarius again. Duffy, come in down below if some of you all are dating a Sagittarius here. I'm getting that heavy in my head. 
all right it says divine timing is at work in your love life wow so your angels are near your garden angels are all on this like white on rice okay so your angels are here in the 5d realm pursuing this happiness pursuing this love offer for some of you all and some of you all your angels and your ancestors are asking for you to be patient all right be patient with yourself be patient with your love life okay slow and steady wins the race all right i'm hearing that all right so slow and steady wins the race taurus okay wow then we have true love it was funny because as i was shuffling i seen this card and then my ancestors told me to pull this out all right so for some of you all it makes sense okay so you're recognizing that this connection here is really going to be based off of true love i feel like for some of you all this is confirmation for you all right there's definitely no accidents and no coincidences on how you clicked on this video but however here there's true love here between you and this person so i feel like for some of you all this is even simply a confirmation for you here today all right it says this is the romance of a lifetime all right so a lifetime for me this is like a hit and miss thank you source all right so this is as in you know you can either meet this person this lifetime or you can meet this person the next lifetime right this is like i'm getting that song um what is that song it's by erica Badu. i guess i see you next lifetime we'll be butterflies so that's the song i'm getting in my head that's what they're playing so this is like a situation where for some of you all you may haven't even met this person yet or you're meeting this person this lifetime, okay? This was someone definitely that you may have met once before in your past life. And now you're meeting this person again. So as you evolve, this person has evolved, okay? So this is where, again, a situation where you two are realizing that this is true love. This connection that you have between this person is true love, Taurus. Wow, or this person that you're going to be meeting here the next three days or in the month of March is going to be true love. All right, wow. Yes, I'm not making this up. We have honeymoon here as well. All right, some of you all may have just got engaged with this particular person here. Or you two are just like I said, you're meeting each other for the first time here again in this lifetime. And you're going through that honeymoon phase. You know how like the beginning of any relationship or any marriage or just any engagement that you have with the particular person or your partner or your lover here it's in that honeymoon phase okay and this is where you two are at here for some of you all that's on this particular timeline all right it says enjoy the bliss of holiday times together okay wow beautiful what else we have come out here pay attention to the red flags Taurus. okay the signs are cautioning you okay so make sure to be aware of energies people particular circumstances and situations that you may are evolving yourself in or you may be attending i'm hearing here so any type of people or energies that are in your surroundings make sure that you pay attention to the red flags you may have energies around you that is not happy for you and this person or not happy because you are falling in love with this person, Taurus, or vice versa, this person falling in love with you. So I feel like you may have some outsiders or some other energies that are around you that are seeing and sensing and picking up the energies that you are having with this particular person. These could simply be the feelings, the love that you have for this particular person. And I feel like if this card has to come out, there's either someone around you that's not happy of that. That could be envy of the simple fact that you're now happy, which is that's crazy. And it is so sad. Everybody has their own season and time. And it's sad that people don't even want other people to be happy. As long as they happy, they don't care about other people being happy. So when it's your turn to be happy towards, you got energies that are hating on you. But that's okay because they're going to get what they got coming to them. You keep doing what you're doing. Enjoy the energy that you're in. And don't let no one come between. Which no one can't come between true love anyway. No one can't come between that. That's spiritual. Love is the most powerful frequency and vibration on this planet. 
Ka. All right. So in regards to this particular person, this is why I feel like your angels and your ancestors is really trying to make sure to keep this relationship protected because you have outsiders here that are not happy because of simple facts. Some of you may have even moved on. You may have particularly separated yourself from a particular person or an ex here. All right. I haven't got the tarot cards out yet. This is just what I'm picking up here intuitively here. Okay. We're going to get down into it. All right. But just to be aware of anyone that is in your space and your energy, this could be people at your work, your career, or wherever you're at and whatever you do on a daily routine. You can have family members, loved ones that are not happy or satisfied simply because you are choosing to be happy. Wow. All right. Moving forward. And then the last card we have come out. Wow. We have separation. Yes. Like I said, some of you all or are separating from your ex, or you have already separated from your ex, or a particular person that you no longer engage yourself with anymore here, Taurus. And I feel like they're not happy for some of you all, okay? I'm picking up several different energies and timelines here, okay? This says, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So some of you all that are currently in a relationship with your significant other here, or your spouse here, source your angels and ancestors is stating that it's time for a separation. It's time for you to separate yourself from this person. So some of you all, your angels are, again, they're watching. They're watching everything that's going on behind scenes towards that you don't see. And I feel like for some of you all, this is a warning for you and your partner. This is a warning for you to either get away from your partner or get away from these particular energies that I mentioned here that is not happy. I'm hearing that is not satisfied. So somebody isn't satisfied. Fuck them. This ain't about them. Who gives a damn if they ain't satisfied? As long as you are satisfied, Taurus, at the end of the day, that's all that fucking matters. Hmm. Now, I got to switch it up a little bit. Normally, I pull out the Hidden Truth Oracle deck, but because of the energy that I am intuitively picking up here, I'm going to use the Kipper deck here for you, and then we'll move forward to see how this particular energy that is surrounding you, how they feel with the Hidden Truth Oracle deck here. And then definitely stick around. I'm going to pull a cup of um, a couple of tarot decks out as well to get further clarification. Ain't that a bitch? Boy, I tell you, moving forward, what are we getting into here? Source, angels, ancestors, protect my space and aura for Taurus, for the bulls. What do Taurus need to hear today from their higher self in regards to their love life? What is this energy here of pay attention to the red flags and separation? What do Taurus need to be made aware of? Please give me three cards, Taurus, in regards to this connection here. Why do we have pay attention to the red flags and separation for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, North and South Node placements. Why do we have pay attention, source to the red flags and separation? Why is these cards here with this particular energy? What do Taurus need to be made aware here for the next three days? Source. Why do we? Thank you. Yeah, we have 35. That breaks down to the number eight. Eight represents law, order, balance, infinite. All right. Pay. Uh, ooh, I want I want to say pathway. I heard pay again. So your angels is really wanting you towards to pay attention to the red flags. You need to wake up. Get out of la la land. Come down to earth towards and ground yourself. Okay. There is a situation here that your angels is requesting for you to walk away from. So again, for some of you all, you're needing to walk away from this particular person that you are in a relationship with. Hell, some of you all could even be in a marriage with this particular person. And your angels, do you see they're showing me these butterflies? Do you see these butterflies and how they're going into the light? These are your ancestors. These are your angels, okay? They're trying to caution you. They're trying to warn you in, in regards to this particular person here. I didn't pull these cards out of my ass, okay? So like I said, there was no accident and no coincidence for some of you all here to, um, to listen to this message here today. Thank you, Source. Some of y'all, like I said, this could be a Sagittarius that you may need to separate yourself from. Or you are in a relationship here with a Sagittarius here. Okay, I heard Taurus as well. Some of y'all, this person could be a Taurus like you as well. 
all right or they're telling you towards that you need to be aware of this particular energy so whatever this energy is i feel like they're on some fuckery shit or they're doing something that could cause you know issues or something that you will have to involve yourself in when you simply could like dodge a bullet type of shit that's what this is okay this is what i'm picking up here let's get two more cards out here source why else do we have pay attention to the red flags and separation here your angels and your ancestors towards is wanting you to choose a new pathway go down another way don't go the way that you came down from or wherever you came from your angels want you to go and choose a new pathway or hell choose this new person or go to or continue thank you source continue to go towards this pathway for some of you all that you're already walking on and going towards because this new pathway here is going to lead you and guide you to true love all right wow somebody's not happy with that y'all got me y'all got me knocking over your angels and your ancestors so you may um, there may be some cross watchers here that are not happy with what the message is coming out here today. Yes, because my nose is tingling, so I don't give a damn. Fuck you, all right? Whoever is not happy with the message that's coming out because it's not talking about your ass. It's a reason for that, all right? So let's move forward. Let's get these details that this person is not wanting to get out today. What else, Source? Why else do we have separation? How fucking dare you knock over my ancestors? How dare you knock over Taurus ancestors here? Fuck you. All right? Moving forward. That's not look. You got to let them know at the door. All right? What else do we have, Source? Why else do we have separation here and pay attention to the... Boy, let me tell you. You disrespecting the most high. You disrespecting the angels. Bro, I feel for this person. Whoever that is. Mm-mm-mm. What else source do we have for Taurus and their higher self? And this is why they're cautioning you, Taurus. I pick up on everything. I'm very intuitive, okay? I can smell bullshit a mile away. Mm-hmm. Look at this shit. You got the lovers coming out here. Some of you all, this person could be a Gemini, all right? But you're choosing love. And because you're choosing love, your higher self, this person is upset, all right? This person that you're separating yourself from, they're upset. All right. And they're not happy because of the choices that you made. And some of you all, you already have separated yourself from this person is why this person is not happy with that. Wow. Yes. And then we have courtship come out here. Yes. This card talks about, you know, when you're meeting someone new and you're ready to, you know, take it to the next level here. You wanted to establish with the number four that breaks down to the number two. All right. The lovers two coming together in partnership. Number four talks about stability. That's your energy, Taurus. Talks about stability. This is like the four pinnacles here in the traditional tarot deck. All right. And yes, some of you, like I said, you're holding back your energy from this particular person. All right. What's at the bottom of the deck here? Mm, mm, mm. Yes. In other news, you have sudden wealth coming towards you. 1111. Some of you all are seeing 1111 or you're seeing things equal up to the number 11. Those are synchronicities from your ancestors as well. And this is why for some of you all, why your ancestors want you to separate yourself from this particular energy because they're not deserving of your wealth. They're not deserving of what you have to come. But I guarantee you, if you don't separate yourself towards from this particular person that's all up in your energy and that is not there for your highest good, they either going to steal from your ass or they're trying to be in your life. They're trying to take what you're trying to have and not giving giving even take this is a particular person that instead of trying to add to what you already have or instead of trying to build what you already have established here i feel towards this person is trying to take it away from you they're trying to put their finger in the fucking finger bowl but not trying to add to it or not trying to help you build or support mm. Mm, mm, mm. I knew it was some fuckery shit. I felt it in my aura. I felt it in my aura. All right, let's see what else we have here. Source, angels, ancestors. What else we have? Let's pull out the Hidden Truth Oracle deck here. All right, 
Let's see how this particular energy or the energy that is surrounding you. Let's see who this is and how do they feel in regards to this connection here, Source. Wow, beautiful reading so far. It's definitely stating important now all the facts and all the truth here. Definitely, Taurus, if the reading is resonating with your spirit and your higher self, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well, my love. So again, you can be notified for when I do post your readings here on this platform every three days. All right, Delphi, if you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information is down below in the description box. I also do now have email questions where you can email me a question in regards to your spiritual journey, any spiritual advice, or if you have a question in regards to your love life, I would take a picture of your spread like I have here today, and I will send it to you through email in regards to your question, and that's for only $25. If you, again, would love to have discount prices on that particularly, you can join the membership tab and become an evolving spirit and get discounts on your email readings, your personal readings, and your love live stream questions when I go live, my love. Let's see what came out here. Wow. Yep. I knew it. I wish I had treated you better. Yep. This is a person here again that have portrayed you towards. They have done some things that as well they are not satisfied with here and they are wishing now that they would have treated you better okay and this is why this person i feel like is being very envy towards you because they see for some of you all that you have found someone that you have realized that is your true love and i feel like for some of you all this could have been quite some time this could have been quite a while now that you have recognized that this particular person was the one for you i feel like you have known this all this time but the simple fact is that you know you wasn't for sure you maybe was in again another relationship here with this person that you are needing to separate here from and this person was blocking you or keeping you from this person this is like a situation where this person knew that you were pulling away energetically from them but they still wanted to do whatever they could do to keep you two together. Isn't that some bullshit? And then we have, I can't stop thinking about you. Wow. So I feel this is from the energy here that is from this new person or this person that you have recognized that there is true love here. That there again is a lot of passion here between you two. All right. And you and this person cannot stop thinking about this person, like I said, because of the energy that it was more of a honestly i'm gonna tell you what i feel here this is more like a um this is more like a soulmate energy a twin flame type of energy here okay yeah and then we have keep doing you all right so i'm gonna pull here the um i haven't used this deck in a long time this was my first deck that i created here all right so i'm gonna pull the energies in regards to this person here that is envy of you or not happy or not satisfied because you are separating yourself and wanting to pay attention to the red flags here and then i am going to pull out the tarot deck here so there is an energy here for some of you all that is a past energy that is still lingering around in your energy here unfortunately and then we have someone here that is new that you are talking to or dating for others of you okay so i'm picking up on two different timelines let's see what do we have for the source what do we have in regards to this particular energy here what do tourists need to know in regards to this particular energy here source what's going on here um wow we have what the fuck okay so i feel like whatever this person does to you Whatever this person tries to manifest, like Spirit said, you need to make sure to be cautious towards in regards to this person here, okay? Because the energy that they're in, they're not happy. They're not um, satisfied with you requesting to separate from this person. I feel some of you all could even be requesting a divorce here or a separation here through court with this particular person. And they're not happy with that. They're not wanting to separate or divorce you all right, in regards to the ones that are here currently engaged or married here, okay? Let's see what else comes out for this particular energy. Damn, what the fuck wanted to come out again here? And then we have, wow, you rock my world, okay? Wow, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Damn, I knew it. That's why I had to pull this deck out. And I said I haven't used this deck in a long time. But this is why I was being nudged to get this deck over there. 
but there's a lot of gossip going around around you towards i'm not even sure if you're aware of it fuck i wasn't even aware of it, but here this is why i'm here to help you out but like i said this is what your angels is wanting you this is why this got knocked over because like i said this person who's talking behind your back and it's sad because it's the person who you fucking lay next to in the goddamn bed ain't that a bitch but moving forward this person that you have been in a relationship with or who you have been married to look them be the ones okay this is why your angels is wanting you to pay attention to the red flags because you got people around and i said this at the beginning of your reading i said that there is people around you this could be co-workers these could be people at your damn job these could be people that your friends that you hung around with these could be family members and this can be this particular person because obviously it's someone that you're in a relationship here with that you need to separate yourself from because, oh, I'm hearing that song. I'm smiling in your face. Ooh, I want to take your place. So this person is smiling in your fucking face, but behind closed doors, they want to take your fucking place. Wow. Okay, like I said, this may be different for everyone, but however... Your particular person, for whoever this is resonating with, they're talking behind your back. They could be going behind your family and telling your family this and tell your family that you're doing this in the marriage, that you're doing this in the relationship, and you're not having the slightest clue. And you're wondering why your family looking at you certain type of ways, why your friends, your homegirls, your homeboys. You know, I feel like this person is really doing some shit because they know that at the end of the day, some of y'all have moved on and you found someone else. Or this person, you know, I feel like some of y'all even told your spouse or your significant other, like, look, this is, I don't think this is going to work for us anymore. You know, I've done all I can do. This is this type of situation because this is why your angels is wanting you to choose a new path here. Okay. We just going to keep it a buck 50. All right. So this person here is on some bullshit. They gossiping. They talking behind your back and shit. Wow. Wow. Wow, Taurus. All right. So if I'm speaking with the divine masculine, the main chick, your own woman. Okay. Baby. All right. And divine feminist. If I'm speaking in regards to your divine masculine here, the person who they were in a relationship here once before, like I said, who they're going to separate from or who they had planned on separating from, it's the main chick or the main female, or the wife, whoever the fuck, is doing all this fucking gossiping. And your angels and your ancestors is watching this shit. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead and pull the tarot card out. You see how very important it is to follow your intuition? Your intuition will never fucking leave you in the straight. And if I had not pulled this damn deck out, I wouldn't have got my confirmations. Because I know what I feel. I can feel like a motherfucker, all right? But when it comes to bullshit like this here, I said, let me go ahead and pull my deck out because I knew it was some fuckery shit here I felt in my aura. Source angels, thank you for the guidance here. Thank you for the truth, okay? Let's move forward here. Let's finally now pull out the tarot deck here to finish up your reading here in regards to this crazy ass, fucked up ass situation here it won't oh i just heard it won't be for long that's right because in other news you got passion all around you when it comes to this person it's like you don't even give a damn about this main chick no more if i'm talking to a divine masculine here all right and shout out to the divine feminines y'all already know what's up y'all are very intuitive y'all know y'all smell this shit from a mile away from this particular main chick and how she was doing your divine masculine here you already know what it is all right moving forward here carry on source angels continue to protect my space as i channel for this low vibration energy here in regards to this reading here today what else do we have here for taurus and their person here source Look, the cars don't even want to fucking go in because they know their ass has been busted for whoever this is. And now they want to holler. They want to treat you right and shit. But it's too late for that. All right? It's too late for that shit. If you don't know, now you know. All right, come through. Come through, Biggie. Come through. 
All right, moving forward. Source Angels, what do we have here? Definitely, again, my loves, if this reading is resonating, definitely don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up, okay? Show spirits some love. Get this video out to your fellow Taurus, okay? So they can be aware of this fuckery energy. And because you all are helping each other, because y'all all are connected, y'all all are going through the same situation, but just on different timelines. Some of you have already went through this. Some of you are currently right now experiencing this bullshit. And some of you all, like I said, you've already met the person that you are in a new relationship with that you have been guided to spiritually because there has been a spiritual connection here like i said this was someone that you were meant to meet this lifetime that you met your past life okay and there's no denying it it's, no matter how much you try to deny this feeling that you have towards this person is no denying this spiritual connection here source what do we have here what do the Taurus need to know in regards to this connection here with the tarot deck source? Mm, 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 Taurus, I was not expecting your reading to be about some bullshit today. But hey, the truth got to get out so it can set whoever it needs to set free. This shit might hurt, but look, it will set your ass free. I've been there, done that, got this damn t-shirt, baby. Baby. Moving forward, what do we have here for Taurus? What do they need to know in regards to thank you? Yes, y'all need to walk the fuck away. And these are your ancestors. They are protecting you. I'm hearing you are protected. So don't worry about these particular energies and all this damn gossip they doing. They just mad and dry hating because it ain't they asses, okay? So they gonna do whatever. They gonna say whatever. They gonna try to manifest whatever because they mad. You mad. I ain't finna argue with you. No. I ain't gonna argue with you. Who, uh, who said that? It came, they're, they're playing it in my head. I think it was, um, what is his name? Millionaire? I forgot what his name is, but I'm hearing it in my head. So this person might like to argue with you. They might like to start a lot of gossip and have a lot of arguments and fights. We ain't got time for that, man. And say, you need to go ahead and do what you need to do. Separation is here, my loves. And this card talks about separation. You see how this person is taking their family. And like I said, you guys been through some shit. You done went through the rocky waters. And your angels and your ancestors here is trying to guide you and lead you to a come a water situation here they're trying to guide you and protect you from this particular energy that's been gossiping and talking behind your back and the sad thing is is that it's the main chick it's the main female the person that you trusted and put your trust in baby them be the ones okay them be the ones moving forward what else here source so my my loves the six of swords is here you need to do what you need to do Pack your shit up and get the fuck out, okay? We have those. I'm not making this up. Some of y'all, this person may be an air sign. We have heavy air energy here. Some of y'all, I'm getting Aquarius. Some of y'all, this person may be Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here, okay? My nose is tingling and itching like fuck, okay? So I know this is resonating for someone. Definitely comment down below if this person is an air sign here. And this is you. Like, you're either contemplating because you don't know if you want to move or if you, if you don't want to make this decision or vice versa. This person, they can't sleep at night because they know that your ass is hollering ass and that you're moving on. Mm, 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 mm. Let's get one more card here so we can get some clarification before we move forward here, Source. One more card here for Taurus in this particular situation. Whoa, whoa. Damn, hold on. Yeah, they mad. They big mad. Got cards jumping out over here. I don't give a damn. Moving forward, we have the Five of Swords here. Look at this shit. Didn't I just say this person is causing a lot of arguments, conflicts, and fights and shit? What the fuck is this? All right, like I said, this person could be a um an air sign. We have Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra coming out again on this fuckery shit. Like I said, this card represents arguments. You see how uh, you see how they have even walked away. So, Taurus, I feel like you even walked away from this relationship or you walked away from this marriage or you even said, like, look, I'm not finna come in the house tonight and I'm not finna argue with your ass. Damn, that's what I'm getting here. So, I mean, I'm getting... So, some of y'all, this may be the divine masculine here. They're like, I'm not finna come in this house. I'm not finna argue with your ass. And she just like, I don't... Well, well we gonna... But because I said this and you did this, we gonna talk about because this and this and this. And you like, I'm not even finna do this no more with you. And you see how this person is still looking over their shoulders and trying to start arguing 
arguments and fights and everything. They still got the swords in their hands. Look, these two people literally done dropped their swords and they still got fucking three swords in their hand. Okay? Still on the fuckery and still on the bullshit. I knew this shit, baby. I felt this shit from a mile away before any of these fucking cards came out. And wow, and look what last card we have coming out here. The Knight of Wands. Like I said, some of you all, this person that's coming towards you is a fire sign. Again, we have Sagittarius, what I was hearing at the beginning of this reading. We have Sagittarius, we have uh, Leo here, and Aries. So some of y'all, this person may have highly fire placements in their chart, or they're just, anyone can embody the energies, right? Like I said, this person just has a lot of passion towards you. Some of y'all, this person may be at a distance from you, or they may be at long distance from you, all right? But however, you know where your heart is, Taurus, okay, for whoever this is resonating for, because it damn show laying in this bullshit, Okay, so let me see. Only card I want to clarify here because I know what this other fuckery shit is about. Let's clarify the um, Nine of Swords here. We know that your angels and your ancestors requesting for you. Look at this shit. Some of y'all, it might be a Pisces. All right, but this is the high priestess here. This talks about every fucking thing that I talked about. This tells me towards that you already knew this shit. All right, you already knew this, okay? But however... Your angels, this is just confirmation for you. But this card talks about moving forward. We know this card talks about everything I just explained about. So I want to see what is on this person's mind and why the fuck they can't lay down and go to bed here. Okay? But yes, I'm not making this up. You know you need to move forward. Okay? You have the chariot card here. Some of y'all, this person could be a Count Syrian. And I'm just splitting the deck here. But the chariot card talks about moving on, moving forward. Moving towards your higher self. You understand your higher self and your lower self and the duality of things. And now you can be able to move forward. Look how you got black and white on both of these cards here, okay? So you definitely need to make sure you follow your intuition here, Taurus. Use your discernment, okay? Because I don't see how you can't see through all this bullshit right here. Clear as day as I can, okay? Let's wake up and smell the fucking coffee here. Because if not, this is just going to be another damn cycle. You're going to continue to keep going through if you do not separate yourself or if you're a person, if this is not you, Taurus, this is what your person needs to do. They need to get the fuck up out of this shit, okay? Or they're going to be repeating this cycle all over again and again and again and again and until the shit dry them crazy. Because for some of y'all, your divine master is already fucking going crazy here. I'm just going to keep it at buck 50 here. Clarify the Nine of Swords, Taurus. Why do we have the Nine of Swords here to finish up Taurus reading? Yes, and Spirit said that's the truth. That's the truth. Everything I'm fucking saying here is the truth. The Ace of Swords represents the truth. It talks about giving you the truth. The divine is giving you the truth and they're showing you what the fuck is going on here. And for some of you all, this person is shaking in their damn boots because they don't, you don't found out towards the truth and what this person has been doing and all this damn gossip. And so you sitting up here like, damn, what the fuck? She did this to me? All this time, this person, this this dude did this to me all this time. Mm, mm, mm. Now my ear is starting to ring. Oh my goodness. I gotta get up out this energy tours. Wow. This 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 look. <laughs> I gotta get up out your energy. Let me go ahead and give you an angel oracle card here to finish up your reading here. All right. Because all my body is giving me all, all type of signals here. All right, if you're very, I know you're very intuitive like I am, Taurus, because the high priestess came out here. So I know you have been getting synchronicities. You have been getting warning signals, red flags, all right, separation flags, all this in regards to needing to pay attention to your higher self. You're very intuitive. So like I said, for some of you all, this is just a confirmation for you because this person is not meant to go where you're going. You have sudden wealth here, and this is why they're trying to start all these arguments and these fights with you because they know who you are and what you're capable of. And because they lazy ass don't want to get in and do the work, they want to eat off and feed off of you. Yes, look at this shit. I'm not making this up. We got theft here. This person is trying to steal from you. Like I said, some of y'all, this 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 feminine here, or vice versa, it's this masculine here. And some of you all may have a child with this person here. This could be the child of your mother or the mother of your child or the father of your child here. Okay? Wow, this is some bullshit. 
Yes, and you're going to be receiving a message here of concern when it comes to this feminine energy. I mean, the main chick did come out. All right. And so, like I said, this main chick is mad because some of you all may have already divine master sent her this message about wanting to separate. And she and look, she's all like, oh, you what you want to do? What? Oh, hell no. Hell no. We ain't you ain't going you ain't going to fucking leave me. This and this and this, this is what I'm picking up here. Yeah, because it is about the family. It's about your family. So some of y'all, this is in regards to your family. This is someone, like I said, this is the main chick. This is the female here. For some of you all, very heavy, strong here. Like I said, this could be a, um, she could be a Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra here, or a Pisces here. Yeah, because, and for some of y'all, the divine masculine is concerned because they're wary about, um, you know, as far as money being issued or financial here, because the divine mass and he thinking about the divine feminine over here. OK, this is the one who he knows is his true love here, vice versa, towards they know that you are their true love here. OK, and look, the main female, she's not happy. Look at her fucking face expression. She ain't happy about this. She done found out. I feel like for some of you all about this divine feminine here. Mm, 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 mm. And because she's concerned because she knows she ain't got a fucking pot to piss in because she want to leech off of your divine mask in here or Taurus. She want to leech off of you if I'm speaking with the divine mask in here. Wow. So, my loves, I hope this has helped my loves. Again, definitely hit that notification bell. I'm so excited to see where the energies here go within the next three days. All right, definitely, again, if you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information is down below in the description box, all right? So, let's get a word of advice here from your angels and your ancestors in regards to this crazy ass situation here this is just a cycle that has been well overdue and that has needed to end here you got a lot of people in your business you got a lot of people that's hating on you you have a lot of people towards that don't want to see you happy and that's because they know where you're going and they know who you are with is for your highest good and they don't want to see you be happy that's this is time to let that type of bullshit go you don't even realize how much you are missing out on life or towards your person is missing out on their life because they're they're choosing to deal with fuckery shit like this now once it dry their ass is crazy they'll get their asses up out of there they'll get their asses up out of there sooner or later damn thank you let's see if card jumped out here immediately we have i'm not making this up the lovers Number six comes out again. Six represents feminine energy. Six represents divine feminine. Six represents balance, family. All right. This is the year that we're in. We're in the year number six. 2022 represents the number six, bringing in balance between families, loved ones, your foundation. All right. It says intent. Well, excuse me. It says intimate relationships. Carefully weigh your decisions, Taurus, okay? Good health, all right? You want to make sure that you're taking care of your health. You want to make sure that you're in a position where you can able to make a decision. You need to remove yourself from this energy, Taurus, okay? Or Taurus, you need to inform your person, you know, be patient with them. Like your angel said, this is definitely worth the wait with you and this person, okay? There just has to be a cycle that needs to close out here so you can get everything that you have been deserving of because you too, Taurus, deserve true love or you too and your partner deserve to love and it's just a cycle here that your person has to deal with. This is a karmic cycle that your person or you, Taurus, had to close out in order to move forward. And this is why your angels is requesting for you to choose another path, okay? They know the path for you. Hell, you know the path for you to go down. It's just up to you to do it, all right? Wow, beautiful, Taurus. So this has completed your reading here. Again, I hope the reading resonated with who it needed to resonate with. And if so, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we shall chit-chat soon, my loves. I love you. Take care. Keep yourself protected. Mind your own damn business and do what you need to do to get the fuck up out of this shit. I love you, Taurus. Bye-bye.